Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. Um, we often talk about this from time to time. It's a good reminder because, um, you know, sometimes things can happen. You might have done a bad maneuver. You might have clicked a link on an email you should not, or even through Messenger on Facebook. Um, it could be something that you tried to, you know, do an illegal download of software with uh, crack and it actually infected your PC. Usually getting a virus is a sign you did something wrong. It has nothing to do with your antivirus being no good. It has much more to do with what you do is bad and you should not do it. Almost every time somebody actually had a virus as a tech guy, it's pretty much all the time. Well, I thought it was weird, but I clicked anyway. Or, yeah, I do illegal downloads. It's, it's simple. Viruses do not infect your machine just because you're online. If you're up to date, there, that doesn't happen at all. You did something. Even if you have no antivirus on your PC and Windows is online and up to date, you're not going to get a virus. It's really always something that you do that brings viruses to PCs. Now, this video is about one thing that um, one of uh, my viewers um, has had a Trojan in the computer, and she tried getting rid of it through antivirus. First question that she asked is, why do antiviruses, uh, you know, is, is, is it because my antivirus is no good that it couldn't get the virus out of the PC? And if you think that your antivirus is there to remove viruses from your PC, get that out of your head. Get that out of your head immediately. Antiviruses are no good at removing viruses. And especially, you know, Trojans and, and things that are really, really hidden very well, nothing will remove it. Nothing will remove it uh, antivirus-wise. So if you start downloading three, four, five different tools to try to remove, you're wasting your time. And the only real way to get out of it is reinstalling Windows from scratch and removing everything. Remember that viruses can infect other drives. So that's why you might still have a virus if you just formatted and reinstalled Windows on the main drive. It could be in another drive and it could easily come back and haunt you again. There is no such thing as a real good cleaning of viruses. It doesn't exist. Anything that pretends, any tech guy that tells you, yeah, yeah, I'll clean it without having to reinstall, liar. As simple as that. It doesn't work like that. The only way to make sure that everything's gone, that you're safe and that you're okay, is a clean zero install of, of Windows. That means you got to remove everything and you have no choice. And just make sure that if you have other drives that they didn't get infected. It doesn't happen that often that secondary drives get infected. Most of the time, most Trojans, most viruses keep to the main drive in general within Windows. But it can happen and you need to make sure that, you know, the other drives are okay. That person wanted to remove, so what that person did in Windows 10 is go into the update and security. And here went into recovery. And here in the recovery, use the option to reset this PC. Now, when you use this option, you have two choices. Keep my files, remove everything. If you keep files, it removes apps and settings, but it keeps your personal files. And that's the big problem is that even your personal files, something can be in there. You know, Trojans, Viruses of all sorts of malware can be actually scripts within uh, Word documents. It, it, it happened that, you know, you get infected because of those. So that viewer re reinstalled Windows through this option, but she chose the option to keep my files, which then after when the Windows was back and everything was up and running, antivirus started once again saying, 
there's a Trojan here and you know there's 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 problems so just remember if you have a virus on your PC first of all just think about all the time you're gonna spend scanning and using the tools that you could find online just to re try to remove it because you might be thinking I don't want to reinstall Windows it takes a long time to actually have everything back well uh, it's going to take you as much time, if not more, and it will not be successful nine out of ten times. You know? So, if you're to spend all of that time, just reinstall. So, you can choose this option. It will work, but you have to choose remove everything. The other option, which is great, is to use a USB thumb drive and the image that you can download of Windows 10 on the Microsoft website and reinstall from an image and use the option to you know, reformat the hard drive and so on. But in case you don't want to go there or you don't really know what to do there, the option of removing everything here will work fine. And you have to do that. There is no such thing as, yeah, yeah, now I'm sure I'm not infected anymore after using tools or antiviruses to remove viruses on your PC. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching.